Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a good one for you today. We're going to discuss how to build multiple different versions of the carts. I hope you enjoy the build. And if you do, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching. First, you want to cut your plywood panels, and I'll have all the dimensions for everything down in the description. So, we cut our plywood panels, and then we move on to putting the legs on the side panels. And I just screw these in with construction screws with the star heads. Just put a couple screws and some glue in, uh, glue on the plywood to hold the legs on. And you want to make sure you put your screws far enough to the side so that a trim piece will cover them up later. And make sure your legs are mirrored of each other on the sides because if you put the leg on the wrong side of the panel, it's not going to work out right. Ask me how I know. So this little block that I'm putting on, you actually uh, don't want to put that on unless you've already decided how far you want your top to go in. And I'll show you what I'm talking about later. So just ignore the part that I put the blocks in because... Uh, I actually had to end up cutting those out. So you just want to line your corners up and do the same thing on the front. Screw the legs in. And we're just basically building a box. That's all there is to it. Um, for the back part, you do have to put the blocks on, but you don't want to make them as big as I made them there because if you do, your top pieces are not going to slide in. So you put... Uh, two two by fours on the top to hold it square or you can use whatever kind of wood you want i just use some scrap two by fours and make sure you put the screws up high enough to where your trim pieces will cover the screws so now we have our box made now we're putting our uh, one by fours on for the legs so the one by four for the legs is to hold the wheels on so you, if you're using 24 inch wheels like I'm using, like those, uh, you want to make sure you put your legs back far enough to where the back of the wheel is not sticking out. I've already done some videos on how to make the wheels. I buy these wheels off of Amazon and I beef them up with a half inch piece of plywood or a three quarter inch piece on both sides. And that circle is just uh, an orbital disc sander trace. So it ends up being a five inch circle. And this just beefs the wheels up to make them more sturdy when you're rolling it. And then the dowel rod is an inch and a quarter dowel rod. It goes through the legs and I put those little pins on. That way the wheels turn independently of each other. And this next piece is the trim for the side. You don't have to put this on. This is just a decorative detail that the customer wanted. And this is how I made it. I just used a hole cutting um, saw blade or hole cutting saw and traced around it and then cut it out with a jigsaw and there you have it and then just sand the burrs off and get them smooth and since this is half inch plywood and my trim is three quarter you have to put this piece of trim behind it that way um, when you put your trim piece around the edges that I'll show you later It'll all line up perfectly. These trim pieces on the corners are just one by fours cut in half. Um, and then on this one by fours on the sides cut in half. And then on the front, I think these were an inch and 11 sixteenths. I have to check. I'll have the dimensions down in the comments, but I, I put these on to cover up the screws and it makes it look better. So when you're screwing your box together, uh, you wanna put your screws in enough to where, when you screw the legs in, you wanna put the screws in enough to where this trim's gonna cover the screws. The same with the top. When you're screwing your legs on for the wheels, you'll have some screws to hold this, this piece on to hold the wheels. You wanna put your screws behind this piece of trim uh, I actually didn't do that, and I had some screws right here, but you can just barely see them. And if you're backed away, you can't hardly see them at all, but I kind of messed up on this one. So just remember that when you're putting your legs on that you want to cover the screw holes up. And now I'm going to show you how to cut the holes for the top. I just used this oscillating tool with a general purpose blade to cut these squares out 
we're going to cut four of these and make sure you measure these out perfectly or your top will not line up correctly and then i just use a square block that i cut off the spindles to make sure that the hole is big enough for them to slide down into So the trim piece is fairly simple around the edges. Just use an OG bit on your router. That's all I did here. If you're building one with storage in it and you have a door like this, I put a magnet on the door just to keep it closed when you're rolling it because it kind of opens sometimes when you're moving it around. The door, all it is is a half inch sheet of plywood with one by fours. I think they were cut at like one and a half inches wide and then just glued and nailed to the piece of plywood. And then I just used a router bit to get this design around the door. Pretty simple door, easy to build. No, no reason to overcomplicate it. Just cut a square in the plywood and then you can use the whole thing for storage if you wanted to. All right, so when you build your top pieces, you wanna make sure that your spindles are spaced exactly uh, far enough apart to go in those holes we cut earlier. So when you put your rafters on for the roof, they're cut at a nine degree angle and I just uh, put them on with pocket holes and I'm just putting these little inserts in to cover up the holes. If you've never seen these, these work pretty good. You just slide them in with some glue and then sand them off smooth. All right, guys, so the holes we were cutting earlier in the video are for these to go into, and I just trimmed these around with shoe molding to cover up, to cover up the hole there. Still need to fix that paint a little bit. Uh, when you get ready to build this, you'll put your spindles on the pieces that we were making earlier. And I'll have the dimensions in the comments. And these are cut at a nine degree angle for the roof. And all of these are cut little slots that are a little bit bigger than three quarters for this to easily slide in the notches. And this makes it so the top can come off really easy with no screws or anything holding it. The roof, it's just hinged. So when you fold the roof up, you can fold the roof up and take it off. And then you take the pieces out one at a time. And then you slide these out. And that way it's easier to transport. So you just fold the roof up. comes off and then you take one side off at a time and you want to take these corners off at the same time so you don't break a corner and we move over to the other side same thing kind of push on both ones at the same time For the middle, and then we just slide these out. That's all there is to it. I know we have a little change of scenery here being outside the shop. That's because I have so many builds going on right now. The shop is a disaster, and there's stuff everywhere um, from building so many different things. I'm building three champagne walls three of these carts and a cotton candy stand all at the same time. So it's a little hectic right now. And I was trying to get this video out um, because I haven't made a video in a while. And I've been showing pictures of these carts and I'm sure people want to know how to build this. And I hope this video helps you. Um, I know some of it wasn't in order maybe and I wasn't showing dimensions and stuff, but I'll have the dimensions down in the descriptions and hopefully I'll have some build plans of this like I do my other one. 
And if you want to see the version of the other uh, cart, click on that video up here and that'll take you to that one. And I do have plans for that cart. So hopefully this helped you. And if you do build this, let me know in the comments how it went. If you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments and I'll try to explain something if I didn't explain it in the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.